leave it on Grog and Winches and we'll be out of those too. Mm. Oi, Krovic! It's 4 a.m. Where the hell is our dinner? Quiet! If you sneak up on these guys too loud, they'll run away. But if you go really slowly, you can get close enough to shoot them. Now to shoot them, you aim just below the monkey. Once he hears the noise of your gun, he'll fall down and whammo, you got yourself a dinner. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. The scurvy dog got away again. What did you do this time, you confident fool? Captain, I don't know. I got down and aimed right below the monkey. I shot him. He fell to the ground and just ran away. You squiffy fool. You don't shoot below the monkey. You shoot above the monkey. Don't you know anything? What did he call me? I'll cut your tongue out. I like to see you try. I can eat a scurvy dog like you. Jump, you bloody idiots. We be peaceful here. Now be quiet or I'll send you to Davy Jones locker and be rid of this headache. Oh, what's this? There'll be a message in this bottle. Would it be, Captain? A treasure map? There be booty ye knows not for ye to take, but ye need to go to the next island by dawn. Ye need reach the point directly across. The only place to dock on the island is 50 meters yonder. To find the next clue to lead ye to your booty. The current be flowing at 3 meters per second to the south, and using a Kato 9 tail ye can be 2 meters per second out of ye. What angle do you need to point the boat to reach the next island yonder? <laughs> Ahoy, science crew! I'm counting on you to figure out the angle we need to go, for my crew has no idea what they're doing. But it's okay, because we've got tools now. The tools of physics. First, we need to find out how long it will take us to get across. Once we do that, we need to find our displacement. How far south the current will take us if we just move straight across. And then third, we will use our information to figure out what angle we need to go. The first thing we need to do, we need to take the distance between the two island docks and divide that by the velocity of our boat. Once we do that, we will find how long it will take us to get across. Next, we find our displacement in the y direction. That's going north and south for you landlubbers, non-physics types. <laughs> you take the velocity of our current, 3 meters per second, and multiply that by the time we got in step one. Once we get our displacement, we will take the inverse tangent of our y direction over our x direction. And that will tell us the angle of our displacement. But be careful because we can set our boat going two angles. And if you set us at the wrong one, who knows where we'll end up. That was easy enough. Easy for ye to say. The captain didn't have a cat all night if ye back. Ye didn't do anything. I set the angle and steered the boat. I anchored the ship. Not going anywhere now. Captain, where we be traveling now? You fool! There be our next clue right behind you. Bring it to me. Head ye now to the temples of science, but choose wisely which to enter. Not mineral, not vegetable, not animal or chemical. Ye need to go to a temple or physical. But be warned, it be guarded by wise keepers who only let the learn. Of course this is the right place. Now what do you two squibs expect to do about that bloke head over there? I say we got her. I Don't worry, Captain, we'll take care of this. Charge! Charge! Arrgh! Slit her throat! Arr! Retreat! 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 Run! Run Retreat! for your life! Captain, our plan was foiled. I'll take care of this myself. 
ye shall not pass till ye prove yourself worthy of entering these sacred halls of physics. Answer me these questions three, and ye may enter free. Ask me what ye will. What is your quest? Beauty! What is your favorite color? Blue. What is the airspeed of a swallow traveling at four meters per second with a wind of it at its back and at six meters per second? Ahoy again, crew! This time I need your help, for I've left my abacus at home. But it's okay, because I know what to do. And you will too. First, our bird. She's flying at four meters per second. And it has a wind at its back at six meters per second. For those of you who don't know, at its back means it's coming from behind. When this happens, we add our velocities together. The velocity of our bird plus the velocity of our wind. And that will give us their total velocity and the airspeed velocity of our swallow. This door seems to be open. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Greetings students, let me tell you a little something about projectile motion. Let's pretend this ball is a monkey. When we shoot at the monkey, we assume the monkey starts falling at the instant we fire the gun. Since gravity exerts the same downward force on the projectile and the monkey, you must aim directly at the target, not above or below, to ensure a collision. Now let's see these physics in action. Box. We know it's full of precious booty. First, open the locks. 